Hey, welcome guys. In this video, we are going to learn about the difference between for loop and for each loop. Generally, in C++ program, as we have taken a C++ program here, we are uh, inside a for statement, we inside the parentheses, we first initialize a value, uh, which is integer x over here, and we then say the limit uh, x less than 10, and we say how it will proceed. It should be like, x plus plus which is increment and you can say x minus minus which is decrement so over here we are first saying the initial point where the loop should start and the finish finishing point where the loop will end and we will say how the loop will proceed okay right now we will run this program if we run this program you can say that it's printing out the value from 0 until 9 so this is how the for loop is working but we can do the same thing in for each loop but it's a bit different we don't actually uh, say the initial point and the finishing point rather than we actually print out the all the item inside an array or a list so to do this first declare uh, initialize a array which will be something like that array and you don't you guys don't have to worry about the syntax for C++ program if you're learning another programming language just understand the uh, concept so we will take 0 until 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 we are taking until 9 okay let's take until 10 11 so that the result doesn't match with the previous one we will give a semicolon and don't forget the semicolon if you are from Python and for the for each loop we will not have all of this we will rather say integer x and we will give a colon and we will say the array name which is our this one so over here we will right now first run the program then tr we'll try to understand what's happening so if we run the program okay if you're running the program it's printing out the value from 0 until 11 9 10 11 so how it's happening we are first initializing a value which is x after that we are saying uh, the array name here so this x will take every value inside the array and will print out one by one so if you are having like a list of something then you, you will actually proceed through this and this by this step it, it will actually print out all the values inside the list or arrays or anything I will now proceed with other languages over here this is a Python program Python 3 we are taking a list and we are just saying this is a for, for each loop here we are saying for number in num list which is this one and we are printing out this so this we are first initializing a number integer or something it is not defined but after iterating over that it is defined so we are taking this number variable and we are saying okay let's print out all the value inside the num list so if we run the program you can see that okay it's taking a bit time you, you can see that the values of the list have been printed out so this is quite simple I hope you guys understood it. If you don't, comment in the comment section. I will try my best to help you out. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up. See you into the next video. Bye bye.